blessings. So, as many of you saw from the thumbnail, this video is going to be about my Bible stack. Um, I've actually been seeing a lot of these videos on YouTube and I thought it was a really neat idea of how a lot of different people have a lot of different Bibles, some more, some less. Um, just because we have a lot of Bibles and you only have one, it is okay. Um, it doesn't, I don't think it matters how many Bibles you really do have, as long as you are really in the Word of God, and as long as you are using the Bibles and they're not just um, decoration per se. Um, what is in here is far more powerful than what is out here. So we need to be in it to gain what we need to gain. Um, I think... Um, I missed one more. This one. We'll get back to this one later, though. Um, the one that I'm going to start with is actually going to be <coughs> this one right here. This one. This one is my very, very first Bible. Um, can you guess if this Bible cover is the original Bible cover, or if it's not. Um, when I first became a Christian, I started going to a Spanish service. And I remember that I had um, my boyfriend's dad at the time. He was a, he's a pastor. And I remember that when I first became a Christian, I wanted to be in the Word of God all the time. Even still now, I wanna be in the Word of God all the time. But I remember I'm like, man, I don't have a Bible and I don't know how to start. And I remember <laughs> he went, sorry, my heater's going to go off. I remember he went upstairs and he brings me this red Bible. And it is a Reina Valera 1960 Bible. And he brings me this Bible and instantly I was like, reading it and reading it and reading it so when i first had this bible you can tell i lost the very beginning of this bible i lost the um, introduction i lost the you know where it says about all the bible verses and where they're at um and you know some of the pages are kind of torn and highlighted i remember one time i went with one of my cousins because one of my aunts had um a restaurant and i was reading i believe it was it was in the newer testament let me see if i can find the page we were talking about um the word of god being important <laughs> oh it was this chapter so i was reading um marcos Mateo, Marcos, or Mark. And I remember that I was trying to get my food and I was doing the study and everything. And all of a sudden, um, I'm highlighting and I'm highlighting and I'm highlighting. And my cousin is like, look at Consuelo highlighting like the whole Bible is important. And I'm like, girl, the whole Bible is important. <laughs> I am definitely a highlighter. So <laughs> a sticky note person. Um, then as time went by, um, as, you know, as I kind of, um, was growing spiritually, um, what the Lord did is the Lord actually took me from a Spanish service into an English service. And a lot of things happened in the Spanish service, which is a testimony for another time, um, that finally I came to the church. So... The church that I am right now was the church that I started going to, but it was in a Spanish service, not the English service. But then um, we started going to Des Moines, to the same church, the, Mar the Church of the Nazarene. Um, but then stuff happened, so I stopped going to Des Moines, to the Nazarenes there, and I came here. But instead of Spanish service, I would go to the um, English service, and I've been there ever since. And I think that was probably seven years ago, maybe eight or seven. And I could be wrong. So that is my very first 
Bible and the story. And actually, these Bible tabs, um, they used to have these like little <laughs> um, tabbies at Dollar Tree. And I went and I bought some packs and that's how I made these Bible tabs for it. Um, so I had to handwrite every single one of them. But then after the years when the when the cover of it <laughs> finally fall, like fell off. I, I remember I was using this Bible with none, nothing. Um, finally fell off. Um, I had a Cricut machine and I remember I just kind of had a hard part right here and then I I like stuck hard paper here and then I taped it here and then I taped it here I don't know how I did it it was totally a god thing because only he knows how I how I even have the wisdom to do a, a whole like cover for it <laughs> So, the Bible verse that I have on here is Dios volvió la maldición en bendición. God turned the curse into a blessing. So, I really enjoy it. It's Nehemiah 13 too. Okay. Moving forward, as time went by, I think these two Bibles, I'm going to put them up here. I think I got this one first. I got this one because then I started looking on YouTube and I would see that a lot of people, um, did I get this one? I feel like I had an English one before I had this one. Or probably did I get, let me see. No, so yeah, I think I got, let me take these out of here. I think I got these two roughly together um, because I feel like I got this one maybe a little bit later than this one because I know I needed an English Bible for English service, which it doesn't really matter. I mean, if you're bilingual, you can use a Spanish Bible in an English service, an English Bible in a Spanish service. Our um, church actually has a live translator so she actually uses a Spanish Bible the whole time she's in service but yeah I think this is the next one I would have gotten um, I think this was um, the next one I got and I was looking onto YouTube and I was like you know what I see a lot of people doing Bible journaling I really want to get into that I feel like I'm a creative person and I remember that we went to Barnes and Noble bookstore and it was during Christmas time one year and I was looking at the specs and I actually really wanted like an NIV or NLT um, version but I was looking for those and um, for everything that I wanted I wanted journaling I wanted red letters I wanted um, a you know, I think that's, those are my main focus. I want it to be a journaling Bible with red letters, like the Jesus, um, Jesus speaking in red letters. That it, For me, I feel like that is always so important when I buy a Bible. I need to make sure that the Jesus speaking parts are always in red because um, I feel like for me, that's, wow, Jesus actually said these words and kind of separated so i remember that i had never read um modern english version or i've never even heard about something like that i know my pastor had a new living translation um but this one i saw it and i instantly thought it was super cute um i really enjoyed the inside so i got this on 10 27 19. <laughs> And my daughter, she wrote in here, Yitzel's name means rainbow, she wrote. Um, so this is the Promises of God, Creative Journaling Bible. And I really have enjoyed, I enjoy how it has some like coloring parts. Um, I remember that this Bible was kind of right after, like right before COVID. 
so or right during the time of covid that like um that's when i actually was off of work for four months four whole months that i was really into like journaling like really into journaling i remember that like i would read every page and i would like do a really colorful like picture of what really stood out to me um this one says sometimes god saves us from ourselves this is from the story of babel um yeah so um this one was look up towards the heavens and count the stars if you are able to count them so will be your descendants um when he's talking to abraham um so then i think i had this bible for a while um yeah it's has been with me for a while <laughs> um as my spiritual um my, as my spiritual life has grown i have come to understand that um hard covers are really hard for me really hard i'm really hard on them um <laughs> you can tell that this is like falling apart and pretty soon now i'm gonna have to figure out how to put a different <laughs> cover on it um i feel like because i carry them everywhere like i put it in my bag i take it out of my bag i put it in my office i put it in my bedroom i take it to the living room i feel like i have it everywhere that like it's just so hard to keep it um from breaking from you know tearing apart so uh if i when i buy my next bible which i do have an eye on a next bible but i'm looking for something very specific so what i am looking for and maybe some of you can help me with these specs i am looking for a new living translation journaling bible study bible um, I've been looking online and I've seen a few options, but it also has to have um, Jesus speaking in red. Um, so <laughs> I put those into Amazon and I found a few, but I still kind of question them. I found one that I absolutely loved because it also comes with um, like the, what is it called? The reference, um, the reference like, app where you can kind of um scan it the page and and it'll give you like a whole bunch of bible studies worship everything i think that is so amazing but the only thing with that one is that it doesn't have jesus lettering in red so i am still debating whether it's something that i really want to compromise on for me personally that is something that i do not want to compromise on but yes i am looking for a new living translation study bible Jesus lettering in red, and um, more so, maybe not a hard cover. I would like more, more of a leather-like cover like this, just because it's. I feel like I'm easier on these. But I'll keep looking, and if you can think of anything, put it in the comments below. I would love to hear, but yes, this is this Bible. Um, so I'm still, I'm actually using this again to go through the Bible in a year. And I've just been kind of going through the Bible in a year and writing notes on the side of it. I think right after COVID, um, when I was, we were going, because COVID stopped church for a little bit. So then we stopped church for a little bit. And then right after COVID, when we started going back to church again, um, this Bible was starting to get like all damaged and, it was pretty big and I had to carry it in my bag and and I was looking for another option. Um, so that's going to be further along the line. But then this one um, also I was telling my I told my husband when I got this one, I'm like, listen, honey, if I have an English journaling Bible, I need to have a Spanish one, too, because a Spanish journaling Bible is also important. Um, I remember that what happened with this Bible is I put it in my car and my husband put it in the back of our car in the trunk area and something dropped on it. And I remember I couldn't find it for like the longest time. I was like, 
Uh, honestly, I am very absent-minded. I'm like, I remember having a Bible, a Spanish journaling Bible, um, but I can't find it. Um, this Bible, it's called Biblia de Apuntes, and it is the Reina Valera, 1960, and it is from Holman. Um, so when I finally found it, praise God that it didn't get like super damaged. Like you can kind of tell that it got kind of wet here. Um, and then like in the pages, some of them are torn a little bit right here. So honestly, this Bible is not torn because like this one, this one is torn because I use it a lot. So this is a good kind of tear because I've been in it. But this one is torn because it's been damaged. And honestly, with this one, um, I think that when I started using the English one, um, I just started getting so used to doing it in English that coming back to a Spanish Bible, especially a Reina Valera 1960, I think a Reina Valera 1960 would be kind of like a uh, King... If not a new King James version, it would be more like a King James version. So then when I started reading this again, um, how it was so much harder for me to kind of understand what it was saying. Not understand, but I think I was I was trying to put in the work and it wasn't working for me. So then this one, it would speak it in a way where it was so understandable that I was like, wow, like I really understand it here. Um, with this one, honestly, I did um, start doing Bible studies in it, as you can tell. But I have not used this one nearly as much as I've used, like, all the other ones. Um, maybe because I, I lost it for a while. I don't know if I have a date on this one. No, see, and I didn't put what day I got it. I should really start doing that with all my Bibles. I think that's pretty important. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, a lot of these pages are pretty empty. I think another thing that has happened with this Bible is like, let's say for example, I'm reading this Bible. And if there's something that I am having a hard time understanding in English, I will go ahead and I'll go back into this Bible. Let's say for example, right now we're in Deuteronomy 32, 39. Um, if I didn't understand it in like an English version, I'll come into the Spanish version and I'll write like a note of like, oh, this is the translation. This is how it's different. Um, ve ahora, ve ahora que yo, solo yo, soy y no hay dioses conmigo. Yo hago morir y yo hago vivir. Yo hiero y yo sano. Y no hay quien pueda librar de mi mano. Son... Um, no hay quien se libre de mi mano. Uh, another thing um, that I would like to mention is that like a lot of my family members only speak Spanish. So I think that a lot of the Bible references that I do reference on here would be something that I feel like I would need to tell them. But there was a point where I was starting to do like I'm reading the Bible in a year and I did try doing it in the Spanish bible see so like there was days where i would be like i'm gonna do it in spanish today and i would try really really hard to stick to it but then i would stop i think for this one a lot of one kings i did do in spanish um this dios es fiel a los que son fieles um un silbo uh, paseable y delicado. Un siervo. <laughs> Un silvo. Yeah, so I think I did a lot of um, One Kings in the Spanish version. Um, here. Here. And <laughs> then I stopped. Um, but yeah, so... I definitely need to put in more work in this one, which I should probably give myself a goal to do this in like a year and kind of go through it in Spanish because it is also good to learn it in Spanish. But yes, this is the story of this Bible. This Bible also has red lettering in the words of Jesus. And this Bible actually, um, it made 
Yeah, so you can kind of tell. Some of the lettering is in red. So actually for this Bible, um, I remember that when I was in COVID, <laughs> this Bible has a famous story. <laughs> when I was in COVID, um, but it, during COVID, TikTok started being a thing. Um, I don't know if many of you know that during COVID, TikTok started being a thing. And so then all of a sudden, I remember that like, um, we, I, I made a video and there was this sound and I don't know if you remember, but it was, es oi, es oi, es oi. And um, it has like music in the back. But I remember that I was waiting for this Bible in the mail. And I remember that I took a video, like it was a short video and I took a video of receiving it in the mail, opening it up and then like ripping it open and kind of looking through the pages. That video got so, so many views i think it was like a hundred thousand i'm not even sure and it about this bible like what kind of bible is it what kind of letters what are the specs how is it do you can you read it well like is it a bible it was so this bible is actually pretty famous <laughs> on my tiktok so yeah i thought that was really neat um i actually had bought this bible for me and then another the same one for a friend um, I ended up giving it to my sister, and so my sister never ended up, ended up using it. <laughs> or hopefully she's using it now, but um, she really liked it. She's like, can I have it? And I'm like, yes. So I ended up giving it to my sister. And so me and my sister have matching Bibles like these. But yeah, neat fact about this Bible. <laughs> so um, the one that I also want to tell you about is you version bible app <laughs> um i feel like when i didn't have um these two bibles and i had only this bible i remember that i would do a lot of you version comparisons um in the app so I would go into the Bible and I would go in here and I would go into the versions that I have downloaded onto my onto my app are the New Living Translation, the NVIS, which is La Santa Biblia, Nueva Versión Internacional, which I'm going to get to this one in just a moment. Um, and then I have the English Standard Version. The Reina Valera 1960, which is this one. Um, and I, I think I just recently downloaded the ERV, the Holy Bible Easy to Read version. I don't remember why I downloaded that, but um, I think it, I was for something, but I don't remember what. But the one that I use the most is the New Living Translation. So when I didn't have an English Bible, I would come into my Bible app on my phone and I would read it in English while the pastor was reading it in English. And then I would further study it in Spanish in my Spanish Bible. So if you don't have a Bible or if you want to start somewhere, um, it is the Holy Bible app. I, I'm, I'm probably going to say it in every single one of my videos because I love you version i love the holy bible app i i love how it has devotionals i love how it has um different bible translations i love how it has the bible of the day the bible you know the bible verse of the day i love how you can put it on your home screen um i actually have it on my home screen here on your home screen um i absolutely love the bible app it has been something that has helped me so much in my spiritual growth that I feel like even when you go into Bible, like right now I'm doing the Bible in a year and it's through this one, one story that leads to Jesus. Um, it gives me little devotionals and then I can read the Bible, which um, it's so helpful to just keep you motivated. Um, you can find plans, um, the Bible with Nick, um, the Bible recap, you can do Genesis, Bible in a Year, Bible 365, sharing, Shaped by the Word. And you can do about fear, about stress, about peace, finances, depression. There are so many 
Bible studies in here about everything and anything. Um, the Word of God says, in every situation, prayer. In every situation, the Word of God. So whenever I'm feeling any sort of way, like whenever I'm feeling like I'm failing as a mom and I'm feeling like, Lord, like how? How can I be a better mother? I will go in here and I will type um, mothers to teenagers and I will look through the Bible studies and I will for through the devotionals, Bible studies, and I will look and it'll be so uplifting for my heart or um, my finances. If I'm struggling with my finances, if I'm struggling with um, being a wife or having marital problems like, you know, bickering or stuff like that, things, little things. Um, I look for it in here and, and I'll look for a devotional. I'll read through it. I'll give me two days, three days, 10 days, however many days it, the devotional is. Um, and yeah, I think one of the devotionals I have right now is God of All Comfort. Um, this one is just being comforted by God. And it says, El Shaddai, Assembly of God. And so this is a three day lesson. I downloaded this the other day, but I haven't started it. So it says that I'm three days behind. This is a three day um, lesson, um, Bible, I mean, devotional. Um, it's okay if I download it and then I decide, okay, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna go ahead and start it. Um, what well, the reason I still save them as plans is because if it's something that's interesting to me at the moment, I wanna have it on my list of devotionals and I can come back to it when I'm ready to come back to it. So yes, this Bible has most definitely <laughs> been my favorite Bible. I do wish that version actually had a part. Um, oh, my iPad is just resetting on me had a part like i have all of these highlighted but i i i wish that it had a part of like where i could see all the pages that i've highlighted like a bible like this where i can it can show me like all the pages and kind of scroll through it because here it shows you what i have highlighted but i maybe it does i just don't know if that's a thing on here i need to look into it <laughs> But I think that would be so neat if we could kind of see the versions that we've downloaded and see what we have highlighted. Um, so yeah, that is also one of my favorites. And then we're gonna go into this one. As you can tell, I don't. I downloaded La Santa Biblia NBI version, which is the kind of like a NIV but in Spanish. Um, this Bible we actually give away at church for people who are coming to our church. And so I picked this one up, not necessarily to write on it, um, more so like if I was reading the Reina Valera 1900, which is, um, you know, a more complex reading style, I could look into the NVI and then kind of make a note in this one and be like, okay, I'm going to write on the side, the Bible verse and the NVI says this, and it'll remind me, okay, um, that is what it means. So yes, this is the purpose for this Bible. This is why I have it. This would be more of a reference Bible for me. Um, so I haven't really highlighted anything in here. And I think another reason I haven't highlighted anything in here is because I did take it from the church, which we can. They're free Bibles. Anyone can have one. If you come to our church, you can have an NIV in English or a NBI in Spanish. But I also take it to work whenever um, pastor is doing his sermons and I go into the office and I need to read like the sermon that he's giving to determine the title for that week because he sends me a title in English, but then I need to translate it to Spanish. But everybody knows that we can't just translate to Spanish, um, especially with the Word of God. I feel like with the Word of God, he whatever he feels his title is, I need to feel the same way. And those wordings will not be the same. So I always kind of try and go through the Word of God and kind of talk to him and everything to determine the title of 
the sermons in Spanish. So, yes. And now, la for last but not least, is my current Bible. <laughs> my current Bible is an NIV Busy Moms Bible. And um, I actually got the, let me see, did I write in here? Maybe not. Oh, where is it? Where would it be? In here somewhere. Oh, here. No, I did not. Um, this is an NIV. Um, oh, I'm trying to see if it has. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm trying to see if it has red lettering in Jesus's Jesus's wordings. Um, this is my church Bible. This is my Bible that I carry everywhere. I take it everywhere. I have it in my purse and I take it to work. I bring it back home. I read through it. I I study in it. <laughs> um, I put my sermon notes in it. I do my Bible studies in it. Um, everything is in here. Um, uh, this mainly is the one that I take to church and I write my like sermon notes on and stuff like that. But what I really, actually this one is a NIV and it's the Busy Mom Bible. And it has the like leathering, um, which I really enjoy cause it will, <laughs> It will take everything I throw at it, um, and there is no sign. I think I, I think I've only had this one for two years now. I think. Um. So every time uh, when I bought this Bible, I actually bought another one to give to a friend. <laughs> Um, but she is also a busy mom and, um, she's actually one of my best friends and, um, I enjoyed it so much. Like as I was reading it, I bought this at Hobby Lobby. As I was reading it, I enjoyed it so much that I'm like, oh yeah, my friend, um, I think would enjoy this cause she's super, super busy. She's actually, um, a nurse and she has three daughters. <laughs> And so I said I was going to get it for her, and I did. I I got it for her, and I pray she's enjoying it. And so this one, what I really enjoy about it is, like, let's say, for example, I have, like, five minutes to do a devotional. Um, it kind of has these pages, and it's um, study for a minute, study for five minutes, or study for ten minutes. And it'll give you little tabs. So this will give you God is. And then it also has family ties. And then it also has identity in Christ. A woman of character. Overcoming obstacles. Um, a lot of different Bible studies in here that I have really, really, really enjoyed. I actually remember one time I... Oh, I was doing so much like I remember I was so at my church I am the ministries coordinator but I am also the youth leader but I remember that we were trying to lift up some activities some children's activities and it was me and two other sisters in Christ and I remember that um, we were thinking about starting a club where kids could come and we started glory club so when we started Glory Club, I remember I was doing Glory Club, I was doing youth, I was doing ministries coordinating like in the office, and then I was trying to do my own ministry at home, you know, everything, my work, my job, I had a job on top of that, and it just became so much for me that um, I remember thinking like, what is it that I have to give up? And the enemy is so good at his job that the first thing he puts in your brain, give up God. <laughs> but that's why it says we need to resist the enemy and the enemy will flee. Um, I remember that I talked to my sisters in Christ and I'm like, listen, I cannot do everything and I cannot do everything well. 
how about I kind of back down from Glory Club, but if you guys ever really need me, I can be there for you. I, you know, I can do what I need to do and help in the way that I can help and um, not go forever, but kind of step down a little bit. Um, they were super accepting and super um, kind, which was great because then I started growing more with my youth group and that gave me the opportunity. This is why God works in such amazing ways because as I was going through Glory Club, I would see the wisdom that my sister in Christ, like the founder of it, she had that it gave me ideas for then the youth group. And then I'm like, oh, well, I can do all these ideas with the youth group too. And man, the youth group has really been thriving in our church. And we went from one youth to now having nine youth. So, I mean, it's been... We're not a very big church, but wow, God has been working and it's been a blessing. So then this Bible, sorry, we got a little bit off track, but I was doing a Bible study in this Bible and it was so uplifting for me because I really needed that Bible study. It was about work and it was about when we're working with Christ and we're working for Christ in our ministries and it was so uplifting. It was when Moses was trying to do everything for the people of Israel and his father-in-law comes to him and he says, you're not right. It's not okay that you do everything because then you're taking other people's opportunities to grow. And I was just like, wow, what a blessing. Like, that's so amazing that it's okay sometimes to step down from things without feeling like you failed. Um, so that was such a great blessing. But yes, yeah, so this Bible... I have had for just a few years. I don't have a lot of writing on it more so. I do have a lot of papers in it. Um, I think the papers that are in it though have a lot of different Bible studies in them, which my goal is to kind of go through and take my, um, like I have this written on here, and then I have these written on here, and then I have, were like writings on here and then i do have like a little bookmark that i bought and then i do have some writings in here like when i don't have a a bulletin from church i will have like a piece of paper and write on there um so i've never really kind of written in here i more so have written um this is one of the papers that i um printed for my youth group and it is 17 simple ways to spend more time with Jesus. So with this Bible, I don't more I don't really write in it. I don't know if it's because I was so used to a journaling Bible that I felt like I had space on the sides and with this one I really don't. It's more of a sheet of paper write on it like this and then put it in the page that I study like these. Uh-huh. So I do highlight in it, underline in it, circle in it, um, things that I've I've really um, drawn my attention, put my eye on and everything. Um, another thing though about this Bible that I really didn't notice in the other two Bibles, I don't know if it was the Bible itself or if it was the Bible tabs. A lot of the Bible tabs that I placed on this Bible have ripped off and um, I, I can kind of show you like <laughs> right here. So when they start ripping off, what I do is I fold them in. I'll <laughs> fold them in and kind of squish it. And that way I don't rip it completely off. I know definitely um, Genesis, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, <laughs> the Torah is all ripped up. Like I don't have any at all here. From Joshua forward is where it, it's starting to rip off. But yeah i have none in the very first four chapters of the bible so i don't know if that was the bible pages they were maybe too thin or if it was the bible tabs um that were maybe too thick or maybe they were just not the right bible tab for this kind of bible um i guess what i did notice about the bible tabs is that they didn't really stick all the way through it was more they stuck down here i don't know if you could see it because i'm not so the bible tab stuck down here but they didn't stick up here so i don't know if maybe because they don't like go all the way they had opportunity to rip off 
but yeah that's the only thing about this bible i feel like it's sturdy outside but then the inside <laughs> i have it all ripped up <clears throat> so those are all my bibles that i have in my collection um and like i said at the beginning of this bible at this the beginning of this bible like i said at the beginning of this um video honestly um it doesn't at the very beginning of my journey like my spiritual journey i only had one bible i really didn't start having so many bibles until after 2019 and i feel like it doesn't really matter how many you have as long as you're in them so it's it's nice to have different bibles because i feel like as a follower of christ we feel like new bibles always make us happy and they always like wow i can do all sorts of things with them and this one has devotionals and this one doesn't and this one is a study bible and this one isn't and this one you know they all have their purpose um, so that is why I'm looking for a study Bible because I'm a visual person. So I'm going through the Bible in a year now. And I feel like a study Bible would, would give me maps and would give me like actual pictures and would give me like details and everything that maybe my brain as I'm reading it doesn't comprehend it as well. So um, yes, it's great to have many, but it's also great to have one. Um, if that's what works for anyone that way then that's amazing and praise god i really pray that you enjoyed this video and i think i said where all of them were from but if i didn't and if you're interested let me know and i can let you know <laughs> so yes like i said if you know of a bible that i can really use for the things that i need in the future go ahead and comment down below and I pray that this was a blessing for your life and God bless you. Have a great day. Bye.